Bow to head instructor, bow to beginner level students, and everybody at home. Let's begin our warm up. Yes, sir. 75 jumping jacks. Yes, sir. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. 
17, sir. 18, sir. 19, sir. 20, sir. 1, sir. 2, sir. 3, sir. 4, sir. 5, sir. Rest. Second set. Yes, sir. Begin. One, One sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, Nine sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, five, five sir. Dance club. It does sound like a dance club. <laughs> Have you seen what they're doing over there? No. They got these like crazy like spring shoe things, and they like. Oh. It looks like a rollerblade. Yes. Um, it's like a bow thing, and they like jump around on them and stuff. That's that's actually. <laughs> it looks fun. So we're we're uh, we we're hearing a lot of music coming through. It's, it's not evident, um, <laughs> but I believe it's like two two stores down. They're uh, they're doing like, it's like a aerobics class. thing, yeah. aerobics class of some sort. Looks fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last set. Sir. Begin. One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir, eleven sir, twelve sir, thirteen sir, fourteen sir, fifteen sir, sixteen sir, seventeen sir, eighteen sir, nineteen sir, twenty sir, one sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Sit Sir. Feet straight out in front, sir. Reach up. Bend forward. Touch your toes, sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. Bend one leg in. Sir. Reach up. Bend forward. Touch your toes. Sir. One, sir. Two, Two sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. Switch sides. Sir, sir. Reach up. Bend forward. Touch your toes. Sir. One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir, eleven sir, twelve sir, thirteen sir, fourteen sir, fifteen sir, sixteen sir, seventeen sir, eighteen sir, nineteen sir, twenty sir. Bottoms of the feet together, sir. Flap our crane wings, sir. Crane section. ones um this is for those hip flexors so we're trying to get those hip flexors the uh the the ideal thing to do here is to be able to get those legs to touch all the way to the floor Sir. um it's it's difficult um i know a lot of students they're very tight in their hip flexors and this is about as far down as they can go they can't go any lower um but <laughs> with enough work on this one you can actually get your hip legs to go pretty low okay. Sir. all right we're going to push the knees down as far as we can to have that back straight, mid ailed high, and we're going to bend forward, touch your nose to your toes, or as low as you can go. Sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. I want to make sure that when we're doing this, um, that you you feel you feel the tension here. And you can kind of feel a little bit of tension here, but you don't want to feel a lot of tension along that back. You can kind of feel it just kind of in that, those, those hip parts. Sir. <laughs> this is definitely one of those ones where I've seen a lot of students do, do this. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's, it's scary.
scares me a little bit when I see students do that. <laughs> that's, that's the reason why I kind of emphasize kind of having everybody come up high, because if you start here, you're going to want to bend right there at the, at the back. Sorry. That doesn't do you much good. Okay. Definitely doesn't help your hip flexors. No. Okay. All right. We're going to sit up and we're going to move our feet wide apart. Okay. Hands up. Sir. One sir, two, two sir, three sir, four, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir, eleven sir, twelve sir, thirteen sir, fourteen sir, fifteen sir, sixteen sir, seventeen sir, eighteen sir, nineteen sir, twenty sir. Reach to one side. Sir. Oh, wow. Reach to the other side. Yes, sir. Reach to both sides. Yes, sir. Widen your stretch if you can. Yes, sir. Touch your head to the floor as low as it go. Oh, I just slurred my way through that. <laughs> Touch your head to the floor or, or as low as it will go. One, sir. Two, Two sir. Three, three sir. Four, four sir. sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six sir. Seven, seven, sir. Eight, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, eight, sir. Ten, eight, sir. Eleven, eight, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. We're going to lift up and you're going to turn to your right. Yes, sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. We're going to switch sides. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. Go back to center. Sir. We're going to push up. One. Two. Three. Walk it back. Sir. Hands up. Sir. One, sir. Two, Two sir. Three, sir. Four, Four sir. Five, five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, eight sir. Nine, nine sir. Ten, ten sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. Feet straight out in front. Sir. Reach up. And over to your toes. Sir. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. Fifteen, sir. Sixteen, sir. Seventeen, sir. Eighteen, sir. Nineteen, sir. Twenty, sir. We're going to go on to our backs. Sir. And we're going to bridge up. And back down. Sir. Hug your knees. We're going to wrap backwards. Forwards. Stand up. Yes, sir. All right. Twist it up. Do any additional stretches. Yes, sir. Another one when we get to chin, there's another one that we do. It's it's hard to describe. It's it's you're breathing through your kidneys. So instead of you instead of you tightening your, your stomach muscles or expanding your stomach muscles, you're actually doing your back muscles. Yeah, so it's it's weird, it's it's difficult to do, um, but it's just a different breathing technique. Um, and then we always do our breathing when we do our punches and kicks. So every time we do our punches and kicks, we do that tighten and we exhale. So um, 
and I believe it's a little bit opposite on um, with chin. I know we we exhale on on a lot of our on our attacks, and I think Tai Chi they inhale on their attacks. So just just different. Every every single martial art that we do is different for you. Okay, okay. So, so we're gonna do our focus today on our crane breathing. Yes, sir. Can you stay in? Yes, sir. Stay in tall. Yes, sir. Stay tight. Stay tight. Hands up. Look left. Back to center. One. Two. Three. Push. One. Two. Three. Push. One. Two. Three. Push. Jump. Down up. Feet together. Yes, sir. Okay. One more time. Tension stance. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. Say tay tie. Say tie. Hands up. Look left. Back to center. One. Two. Three. Push. Get it all out. One. Two. Three. Push. One, two, three, push, jump, down, up, feet down. Sir. All right, one last time. Take stance. Sir. Stay tall. Yes. Sir. Stay tight. Stay tight. Knees, knees should be going in, toes should also be going in. Right? Sir. You feel that when you sink, your legs should be going together. Hands up. Sir. Look left. Back to center. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. Push. Jump. Down up. Feet together. All Sir. right. We're going to move on. We're going to move on to our crane stances. Yes, sir. Tension stance. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. High crane. High crane. Middle crane. Middle crane. Low crane. Low crane. Monkey hop. Monkey hop. Bow stance left. Bow stance left. Cross stance right. Cross stance right. Clap. Bow stance left. Bow stance left. Crane stance right. Crane stance right. Dragon stance. Dragon stance right. Feet together. Sir. All right. So, um, last time we learned, who? We learned like four moves. <laughs> uh, we did that clap. We did the bow stance. We did our crane stance. And then we did our dragon stance. So those were the four moves that we learned last time. Um, I want to kind of go over a little bit. Uh, the, the bow stance, we already know how to do. That crane stance is a little bit different from our normal crane stance. And so one of the things that we, we talk about is that you're either holding um, two laser pointers pointed at each other, or you're pulling a piece of taffy. So those fingers are still pointed at each other. Because um, a lot of times, one of the things I'll see is I'll see students' fingers are just pointing forever, pointing in. Um, they should be pointing straight out. And, and the reason we kind of do that pulling taffy because that means that you're trying to get this as elongated as possible because um, a lot of times people will do this as well you don't you don't really know um, unless you actually look because if you're, if you're looking straight forward you don't know where your arms are um, but also uh, what I want us to do is develop kind of that sense of body awareness where's our body at where our hands are um, this is gonna become a lot more important later when when you're trying to block and if you're, if you're blocking you don't know where your hands are you don't know where to put them to, to stop things. So sir, this is, this is a very important part of that body awareness. Okay. And then once again, our elbows are a little bit bent. They're straight, but not straight bent, but not bent. bent. Good. A little bit of bend in them. I have a question. Yes, sir. Why is one hand higher than one hand lower? Oh, that's a good question. So the question was asked is why is one hand higher than the other hand lower? Uh, I'll have to research that and get okay. back to you. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, that's just the way we've always done this one. Um, it, it maybe for balance. I'm I'm not even going to speculate on this. Okay. <laughs> that's a very good question, sir. Um, and then we do the same thing. We do the same exact thing. Right. I figured work. there might be a reason for the. Yeah. No. Um, it, it, here's the other thing. Uh, our tiger our tiger stances are symmetrical. We're doing the same thing on both sides. And then with our crane, everything is asymmetrical. We don't ever do a, a corresponding crane stance. We never do a corresponding That's true. Uh, dragon stance. Uh, I don't think we do a corresponding bow. That's true. I never thought of that. Yeah. That's true. Yes. So the crane crane's very asymmetrical. Okay. <laughs> so I, this may just be a, a representation of that asymmetrical. Okay. Not even going to speculate. I can, I can <laughs> find out. Okay. Uh, so that was the new stuff. So we had those those, those four moves. So let's uh, let's re-review. We're going to run this two more times, and then I want to start in on the crane blocks. Okay. Sir. Stance. Sir. Stance. Paul. Yes, sir. High crane. High crane. Middle crane. Middle crane. Low crane. Low crane. Monkey hop. Monkey hop. Bow stance left. Bow stance left. Cross stance right. Cross stance right. Clap. Bow stance left. Bow stance left. Crane stance right. Crane stance right. Dragon stance right. Dragon stance right. Feet together. Yes, sir. All right. I'm gonna. Okay. This is, I know nobody. Nobody at home is gonna get a choice in this one. But do you guys want to go a little faster? Yes, sir. All right. So we're gonna go a little bit faster on this one. All right. So I'm. I'm not gonna do the names. You guys are just going to follow along. We're going to go a little bit faster. Try and keep up as best as you can, okay? Sir. All right. Okay, stance. Sir. Stand tall. Sir. Begin. That's about medium speed, maybe. That's or probably it's roughly the normal speed about the speed it's supposed to go. Okay. And then um, we can go a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't normally do it because um, there's a speed that we go when we just every single individual in the class just kind of gets really far behind. They just kind of stop. So stop doing that. Okay. So uh, let's move on. We are going to learn our blocks. So we uh, we previously learned about that crane beat. So we're gonna start with that thumb straight up, wrap those fingers around that thumb, turn that beat down. Okay. So you can feel the back of that wrist, nice and hard. That's gonna go to the nose. It's gonna go to the chin. It's gonna go to the solar plexus. It's gonna go to the stomach. It's gonna go to the bladder. These are soft targets. There's no no bone <laughs> covering your bladder. There's no bone covering your solar plexus. Um, Solar plexus, you can, you can do as many stomach crunches, sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, whatever you want to do. You're never going to build muscle over that solar plexus. Um, and then there's a muscle underneath right here between, uh, just behind your rib cage. It goes between the, uh, the abdomen and the, the chest. And this muscle will flex. Um, so we have a lot of different ways that we can get air into our lungs. One of them is the muscles around the rib cage. Uh, the diaphragm is one of them. And then your, your abdominal muscles are another. But uh, if you ever have gotten hit right here in the solar plexus hard, what happens is that diaphragm, that muscle that's underneath the lungs, gets, gets paralyzed. Um, it feels like you're suffocating. And so uh, that's why that's a, that's a target that we, we, we focus on. So, yeah. so that's where this would go, right there for that. And we've, we've done the same thing with our with our iron elbows, they're going right for that solar plexus. Okay, so nice, good, soft card. So our high block. Um, this one is, it's basically exactly what we were doing before, where we have that crane beak. The the wrist is going straight up. The beak is going straight down. Yes, sir. Um, and this one, this is this one is the one that we're using when we're doing all of that, the the, the strikes and the blocks. This one, this one works as both a, a block and a strike. So it's gonna work as a block for punches. Um, and just like we were, we were learning with our tiger front block, um, you, you very rarely are, are gonna be able to catch 
anybody's arm with your wrist, it's going to be a, a move we're going to kind of go to the side. Second. If you use it as a block. Um, we're going we're gonna to learn how to turn this one sideways, and it becomes a very effective block for punches later. Okay, crane high block. So when we do this one, um, you're going to, if you have your uniform on, hopefully everybody that has a uniform at home is wearing the uniform right now, there's a seam that goes right down the middle, okay? When we do our high block, that high block comes right up that middle seam, okay? And we're not gonna go up here. There's no point in never going this high with the high block. It only has to go about four hit height. That's the right thing. About as high as it needs to go. And then when we do it, it's not in front of our face. We don't have our elbow completely bent. It's not collapsed in. It's gonna be out. It's gonna be that straight but not straight, bent but not bent. Okay. This is the strongest position that your arm can be in for this block. Okay, so this is what they've been doing in the family class. Um, we're gonna do a few of these in Tai Tai. Normal this is done in Tai Tai Pei. We're gonna do a few of them in Tai Tai, and then I'm gonna go over just a few more details, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do it in our Tai Tai Pei. Okay. Sir. Ten states. Yes, sir. Stay tall. Yes, sir. Say Tai Tai. Say Tai. Okay. Crane high block is just gonna come right up that center. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together. Sir. Okay. So what what happens with that hand that we're not using? That hand comes back to chamber. All right. So one hand's going to be up for that block. The other one's going to be back at chamber. So right. um, we're at an angle. We don't want to go any higher than our forehead and it's coming right up our center line. Okay. So let's do 10 more. 10 stance. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. Say, take, tie, pay. Say, tie, pay. Crane, high block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together. Yes, sir. So our next block is gonna be our crane inside block. Our crane inside block comes, we almost like to think of it like we're, we're wiping off our forehead and we're kind of like flipping that, that sweat away. Um, and this is gonna kind of go into that, it'll still be that crane bee um, when you get to the end, but it's gonna be situated underneath our armpit. Okay, so it's just gonna in front of the face and it's gonna go right underneath the armpit. This one is an intercept block. So we're not blocking here. If you're blocking here, you're gonna get punched. Um, you can't stop a punch right here. We're coming out in front of our face. This is a distance. And then we're, we're guiding it away, okay? As that punch is coming in, we're guiding it. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. This one's not that difficult. I mean, this one actually winds up being, this one winds up being fairly difficult for a lot of students. I have a lot of students where they either get this one correct or they get the outside block. Very rarely have I ever seen anybody get both of them correct. Um, but uh, do your best. We're just gonna come in and just gonna, it's gonna form a hook. That elbow's gonna be a little bit up because we wanna make sure that there's room for that fist or that punch or the arm or whatever, maybe it's the leg. Okay, sir. Attention, stay. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. Say, tay, tie, pay. Tay, tie, pay. Crane, inside block, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together. Yes, sir. All right, shake it out. All right. Whew, guess what? We're out of time. <laughs> I want to go. I wanted to go over that one a little bit more, but uh, we are we are now out of time. Yes, sir. Right, let us line up. We follow the five hearts, faith, respect, perseverance, patience, and humility. Bow to head instructor. Bow to beginner level students and everybody at home. All right. Basic training dismissed.